going on everybody finally back working on this thing um gorgeous day out here today it's actually a little bit warm got my little helpers maya say hi <laughs> uh, it's actually a little bit weird that she's not you know like timid of the actual uh the gopro because when she was just a small pup my wife decided to put her up somewhere to take a photo of her and scared the living daylights out of her as far as cell phones are concerned so if you pull a cell phone out in front of that dog she's gonna bolt uh, all that shit just for an instagram post you know <laughs> gotta keep her instagram alive right. follow her at maya the fried chicken don't do that she likes starbies too damn all right everybody um i gotta take out the steering wheel real quick as soon as long as it's, as you can see so much slop on here and it's not on the actual tilted mechanism but it's inside this um i don't know if there's a bearing in there or what so i'm going to try to take it apart and see what's what uh, but i got to take out the steering wheel in order to do that and uh whoever did this i don't know what the heck they were thinking but instead of getting the right hub adapter and using it they actually just welded the steering wheel to some kind of a an adapter probably from the old steering wheel itself which is kind of stupid to do you know especially on something that you move and you need to control the damn truck but whatever uh, because they welded where the screw would go for the steering wheel puller I'm just using a just a, like a three finger extractor or puller or whatever you want to call it I just gotta shorten it up just a little bit here catches it enough there well this is bad guys Maybe that's why they ended up doing that is because they couldn't take this out but um, the weld actually broke off and that did not come out at all so this thing's garbage which I was planning on changing anyway but now it just messes with me even more trying to take this thing out um, and a lot of it what it could have been is because they probably welded this in place if they couldn't get this thing out I mean they should have just drilled here and just put the screws in but most likely what happened is they they welded it in place and it heated this thing enough to where if, when it you know when it got cold and it it shrank it's probably in there so tight that I hope I'm able to take that off uh, you know because if not then I gotta change it I mean I may have to change the column anyway depending on what's bad here and why the play but
Thank God that came out. I don't know why that would have done it. I hate half-assing shit. back here that way I don't lose them These rubbers are supposed to be on there, or they just put them on there to hold the bearings in place. That's weird. It's really weird. Bearing looks to be good, you guys. Yeah, it looks like these rubber pieces um, is what actually holds this in place or, or holds them tight, which is kind of weird. Why wouldn't the bearing be a tighter fit? Wouldn't it just be easier? Well, 
so I don't lose anything and nothing gets damaged. What I'm going to do is just put this thing back and leave those rubber bands out. I'm going to call the dealership and see if I can order those separately, which I doubt. Knowing Kenworth, probably going to want you to get a whole new steering column, which that thing ain't cheap. Yeah, the bearing look good, guys. It doesn't seem like there's a any play on it whatsoever so yeah I'm just gonna call them up and see if I can get a, a replacement these two replacement pieces and put them back if not what I may do is if I can find a big enough um, hit shrink wrap I'll just put this I'll put it on there um, hit it real quick just a little bit with just a heat gun shrink it to that and then just cut it and see if that uh, does the trick which would be the same thing as that and it'll give enough to actually hold it in place and I can just do that double if I need to but yeah the, these bearings yeah, bearings seem seem good alright so let me put this thing back here That's what does it the play inside there now is just incredible without those pieces on there so well I'm glad that's gonna be an easy fix um, now I do have to fix the uh, the threads here on the steering shaft I did hit it a couple of times uh, trying to get it you know loose last two weeks ago whenever it was that I was here and uh, I left the nut on there or so I thought it was on there but it wasn't on there good so when I hit it it messed just the beginning of the threads I'll just hit that with a file a little bit just to get them started that won't be a, a big deal but I'll do that at another time but since I'm here what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that rear couch off because um, that thing is just messed up so let me show you guys what needs to be done here so this is a, a like a sort of like a flip down couch and it opens into a bed problem is on this side the bracket is completely missing um, so I don't know if that you know point that it was uh, grabbing onto the frame there was was the issue or what the issue was but you know it's, it's definitely not going to stay like that so what I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to take this completely off and I'll just build a, uh, a bed under here. I'll just get some, whether it be plywood or a PVC board, I might just do it on a PVC board and um, have it come all the way out here, make some legs for it or what I may do uh, even still is I am going to put some kind of a sound system on here as far as maybe a, a subwoofer or two so what I may do is uh, I may just see if there's enough room up under there to do uh, maybe like a single shallow 12 and I'll put that under and kind of facing um, this way and see if that uh, see if that works out pretty good and then these little two compartments here um, I'll leave them for like I don't know it's maybe like a little storage uh, place like maybe a like an actual pair of shoes that I can leave on there or whatever so. so the only thing that holds this in place is 
it's just those two uh, nuts right up there. And they should have been the, the same on both sides, but because that other side, the bracket is missing. So I'll take this out and I'll show you guys real quick what it looks like up on the nuts it like this one in the back there as well so On this side this whole mechanism here which allows you to move that bed from from a bed to a couch um, is completely gone on this side so yeah that's what I'm that's what I'm gonna do you guys, or at least that's what I'm thinking. If somebody's got a better idea or you've seen something uh, somebody else did that is not the same way, let me know in the comments below. Yeah, so what I'm gonna do is I'll, uh, I'll flip these brackets the other way, the way they're not there, um, or I'm not gonna be a team driver really, so I don't really need them, that's just if somebody is sleeping and the truck is moving. So I'll just probably take them out and what I'll do is I'll cut a piece of um, plywood and these here what I'll do is I'll just drill these out that way they'll I'll take this mechanism completely off and uh, these seat belts if they're good I'll just use them for the front um, I was thinking of getting new ones for the front anyway because they are uh, they're a little dirty, a little old. But I'll just cut a piece of plywood length of this and then have it extend all the way out here and then actually just secure them directly into um, the piece of steel there. And I'll just, I'll either drill it and use like a, a riv nut type deal and just bolt that on top or um, some self tapping screws. It, it's all going to depend. I am going to put an inverter on this truck. I'm thinking maybe like a 3000 watt inverter, uh, but I do got to run power from the battery all the way up here. And uh, what I'm thinking is because I am going to run a uh, an amp and a sub here as well, I'm going to run a zero gauge probably uh, wire from the battery up inside the bunk. Uh, somewhere to the floor with like a rubber grommet and then I'll uh, take that into maybe like a, a distribution bus uh, for both power and ground that way all I have to do 
you know, if I want to add anything or take anything out, instead of doing all this stuff for both amp and uh, inverter, I can just hook those up with just a four gauge from the power bus to the actual unit itself, whether it be the amplifier or whether it be the uh, the power inverter. So that's what I'm thinking, and I'll probably put the power bus under here somewhere. And those are pretty good. I've done before, you know, in like, you know, pretty big sound systems. That's what we used to use is a just the main power bus, and we could kind of pick it back off of that. Um, and then I'll take all these restraints and stuff off. Like I said, since nobody's going to be sleeping while the truck is moving anyway. Um, and since I'm going to be doing that anyway, what I'll probably end up doing is. I'll take these out here and I'll just build the, I'll just make them out of the PVC board that I'm going to be putting for the floor. That way it's all you know nice and uniform and uh, it all kind of looks the same and I'll just paint it or wrap it or do whatever I'm going to do to the rest of the truck today as well. And obviously now it makes it a lot easier to get in here and start cleaning uh, and then kind of go from there. But this thing is kind of it's kind of filthy. I think what I'm going to end up doing to this one as well is uh, I'm just going to take it apart, clean it real well, and especially where the blower motor is. Give it a really good, you know, air blowing and stuff, and, and hook up the vacuum to maybe the uh, the discharges just to help that along and just kind of clean all that stuff out. I don't want to be you know, breathing dust if I don't have to, you know, who knows how long it's been since that's been cleaned or if it's ever been cleaned. And now it's a perfect opportunity to, to like, especially now when everything is coming apart. If you guys are working on a project or anything like that, you know, it's so much easier sometimes to change things and do things while you have everything apart. You know, you may look at it as, oh my God, I'm going to spend a little bit more money on this too now, where I'm spending all this money on X, Y, Z. But sometimes it's so much easier to do it, because if you have to do that anyway, now you're going to have to undo everything that you just did just to do that one thing. So, I think I'm just going to take my time and, and do everything as, as right as I possibly can. They said, don't fall, don't forget all the things you've been taught, you've been told, don't blink. Turn left or turn right or look straight at the sun My mind's gone in circles, I'm trying to fight it Getting these voices inside to stay quiet Going to the place where all this began Just start again Oh, you won't see the light until the dawn breaks No, till it's all said and done You won't That's all she wrote for today, guys. Um, I got done at least some things, not maybe as much as I wanted to, but at least something. Steering wheel, took out the bunk, finished the rest of the floor, checked a couple of um, different things. Hopefully next week it'll hold up and I'll be back here and make some more progress. Um, but oh, as always, thank you so much for your support. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell so when there's a video it notifies you guys. And uh, thank you very much again. We'll see you on the next one.